President Donald Trump described himself as a very stable genius in a series of tweets on Saturday, a day after the author of a book about the White House said 100% of the people around the president question his intelligence and fitness for office. Throughout my life, my two greatest assets have been mental stability and being, like, really smart. Crooked Hillary Clinton also played these cards very hard and, as everyone knows, went down in flames, Trump tweeted to his 46 million followers. Not afraid of a little hyperbole, author Michael Wolff says Donald Trump has the least credibility of anyone how has ever walked on earth, in his first interview since the release of Fire and Fury. A massive winter storm roared into New York dumping as much as 18 inches of snow, visitors and workers in Times Square took it all in stride. A South African citizen has been killed and more than a dozen people have been injured after a hot air balloon crashed near the Egyptian city of Luxor. Courtesy 7 Network. Residents find frozen iguanas laying on the floor as temperatures in some parts of Florida drop below 4 degrees. The publisher of a scathing tell-all about the first year of the Trump administration rushed the book to stores amid huge demand while the president's lawyers threatened legal action. For more than 70 years. Scientists have been puzzled by the strange behavior of a lethal strain of malaria. A procedure becoming increasingly popular in Thailand is penis whitening, the latest in a string of different forms of skin whitening. Not afraid of a little hyperbole, author Michael Wolff says Donald Trump has the least credibility of anyone how has ever walked on earth, in his first interview since the release of Fire and Fury. I went from very successful businessmen to top TV star to President of the United States, on my first try. I think that would qualify as not smart, but genius and a very stable genius at that. Trump, in his tweets, said his detractors including Democrats and the media were shifting from stories about Russian collusion during the 2016 campaign to focusing on his fitness to be president. He tweeted a day after Michael Wolff, author of Fire and Fury, inside the Trump White House, offered a stinging characterization of Trump in a television interview. They all say he is like a child, Wolf said on Friday on NBC. What they mean by that is he has a need for immediate gratification. It's all about him. This man does not read, does not listen. He is like a pinball, just shooting off the sides, Wolf added. They say he is a moron, an idiot. Actually, throughout my life, my two greatest assets have been mental stability and being, like, really smart. Crooked Hillary Clinton also played these cards very hard and, as everyone knows, went down in flames. I went from very successful businessmen, to top TV. Star to President of the United States, on my first try. I think that would qualify as, not smart, but genius and a very stable genius at that. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy.